me see. Oh, there's a problem with the selected camera. No way. That's not cool. All right, give me a second, guys. Got it. Got that bitch. We back. Round two. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? Y'all good? Y'all got y'all motherfucking wine. It's grown folks time. Absolutely. Y'all sure it is. All right. Yes, Catherine, you made it, bitch. You made it. Okay, Dada 3, I finally made it. Yes, we live. We are live. Hit the thumbs up if you hear. What you mean it ain't working? It's working. Refresh your screen. If y'all having issues, refresh your, squ your screen, okay? You're not even done with the update video yet? You can go back. You can go back. What's going on, y'all? Mm -hmm. Damn that chat moving fast. It is moving fast, okay? Huntries is drinking pink Moscato, okay? Y'all let me know what y'all drinking too. I'm drinking the Malbec. I just finished up this bottle. It's gonna go into my bottle collections because you know I recycle a lot of bottles, all right? So I got this wine and we are gonna be talking about sex, specifically great sex, okay? I don't wanna talk about no bad sex. Mm -mm. No. Y'all let me know what y'all drinking to in the live. And please, this is about y'all, okay? I need y'all posting questions. I'll read these questions and I will answer questions specifically about sex, okay? If you a child, you ain't got no business on here, okay? Go on to bed. Go on to bed. All right, let me look. Oh, wow. Y'all already here for it. Okay, let me see. I'm going through these comments. Somebody said, I hope everyone's doing great, depending on where you are in the world. What's up, Africa? What's up, Belgium? What's up, UK? Hell, I got to, what's up, Russia? What's up, United fucking States? Houston, y'all are in my prayers. I am trying to figure out right now, because I actually want to get there. I like to be hands-on with shit. And I want to see what I can get together here so that I can bring it to Houston, okay? All right, now remember, tonight we're talking sex, all sex, all things sex, great sex, specific sex, okay? Y'all have questions, put them in the chat box and I'm gonna go ahead and start answering the questions right now. I'm going through right now to kind of look and see what we have. All right, somebody said they take pride in, in great sex, absolutely. Okay, take pride in, okay, first question. I'm gonna ask y'all a question now, put it in the chat box. Name the first time you had an orgasm from somebody, not from yourself. I know we can give ourselves orgasm. Let me know at what age you had your first, somebody gave you your first orgasm. Please put it in the chat box while I'm looking for these questions, okay? Oh, shout out to Angie, 94565, donating this shit. Absolutely. Good evening, Angie. Yes, honey. Good evening. Yes, okay. Let me see. Who thumbed down this video? I ain't worried about that shit, okay? You are on late. What's the regular time? Let me see. I'm looking for y'all sex questions, okay? I got the first question. This question comes from Victoria. She said, how can a woman get over the stigma of casual sex? And do you think casual sex can be a reflection of our insecurities? Wow, she's starting off shit like we in a damn lecture or something, college or some shit. Okay, how can a woman get over the stigma of casual sex? It won't ever happen. We got too many, we got too many that make it kind of like bad for us and shit. And so I personally don't see anything wrong with casual sex. As long as you and your partner have that mutual understanding and you know what's up with him and he know what's up with you. Okay. So I don't see anything wrong with that, with casual sex at all. And do you think casual sex can be a reflection of our insecurities? 
Hell no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I mean, for some for some people, yes, they have casual sex because they're insecure and they kind of feel pressured. Okay. And they feel like they have to do it. But I think when a woman knows herself and she knows her body and she knows what in the fuck she needs, there's nothing wrong with asking for that need. I don't think it shows insecurity at all for a woman to want to enjoy and have casual sex at all. So, Victoria, that's my answer, okay? Now, come on now, y'all. Give me y'all questions. We talking sex now. Did y'all put in the chat box? I'm, I'm, I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling now. How can, okay, I already read Victoria's question. I need more questions, y'all. This is about y'all. Y'all asked me to talk about sex. I'm here to talk about sex, okay? Who is this Nika Nicole? He said, finally kiss my girl Tessa. I will. You kiss Mason for me. That's my friend, y'all. She in the chat. Kiss Mason, okay? Kiss all my kids. Tell LJ I said, what's up? Now, somebody just asked Diamond Hayes, when you suck in the dick, how do you make a nigga come? <laughs> okay, I guess I'm giving instructions here. <laughs> okay, uh, hopefully you're sucking somebody's dick that you can first trust. I always want to put out, you know, safe sex out there. Safest way to have it is if you could trust the motherfucker. How do you make a dude come when you have sex? Well, first of all, it's kind of energy. You know, like the sex is an energy exchange. And so when you're getting, let me use the wine bottle here for a second. You know, I've never sucked anything this big though, but um, I, I can use it, okay? When you, you're getting ready to go down on a guy, and um, I know all the guys in this damn chat probably like, hell yeah, bitch, tell them. Tell them how you cut, tell them how you cut, uh, are able to keep that man for 12 years. Okay, so whenever you're getting ready to go down on a guy, okay, you kind of got to be like, it's fantasy. You got to feel him first. Just like when a woman is getting oral sex, you just can't go for that shit. You got to, you know, kind of get her ready, caress her a little bit. And when you're caressing her or caressing him a little bit, you're able to feel, you know, when he jumps or when he just like, you know, kind of melts, like maybe you may hit that spot on the penis and he may melt. And when you start to see him relax and melt, then you go for that shit, okay? But don't go fast. You know, I hate when people watch porns and that's how they figure out how to suck dick. That's not how you do it. You gotta, you gotta finesse that shit. You can't be like, you know, real fast. You gotta finesse that shit. You gotta feel it. You gotta slow it down. You gotta speed it up. You know what I'm saying? You gotta tease him a little bit, okay? Diamond Haze. Did I answer your question? All right, so you just got to, you know, make sure the mood is set. You know what I'm saying? Me and like that shit. Make sure the mood is set and you just feeling him, you kissing him, just like when somebody going down on a female, how they, they supposed to kiss you around and in your thighs and up above before they just go straight for your, your, your clitoris. They kiss around that shit and then they come for it. They get you ready. So you get him ready and then when you throw your mouth on it, it won't even take long. He should come in less than five minutes. That way you ain't got to fuck up your neck back there because, you know, that shit can be hard work. Okay? Tell me what y'all drinking. I want to know. What's up, Vancouver, Canada? What's up? Okay, so Susan Venice has been celibate for a few months, close to a year. Congratulations. Y'all thumbs up, Suzanne. Y'all shout her out. She says she's scared to have sex again, need advice, okay? Why, did something happen, Suzanne, for you to be scared to have sex like the first time? Because I, I do know, because I, I do have a friend. I have a lot of friends, for real. Whew. I have friends who, well, I just had a friend who's been celibate now. She, the reason she's celibate is because she ended up catching an STD. And so she ain't going there no more. And so if something like that happened to you, I understand why it will make you nervous to give your body to somebody else. And so um, if you need advice, if you're scared to have a sex again, are you scared because like maybe you're thinking it's going to hurt? Because it's not going to hurt. It may be a little uncomfortable, but once that thing get wet, that shit going to slide right up in there. Like old times. 
Nick, look, my friend shouting out West Virginia. Hell yeah. I'll be up there the end of the last week of September, Shanika. Okay, I'll be in West Virginia. But back to Suzanne. Uh, I think it's Suzanne, Surzine, Venice. Yes, Surzine. I said her name wrong. Okay, don't be scared. I mean, just make sure that whenever you go there, whoever you're going there with doesn't mind, okay? You know, taking an STD test or having protective sex with you, okay? Okay, is it okay? This is from Eric Walker. I guess this is from a guy. Is it okay to not be happy with your mate if the sex is not great? Hell yeah! Yes! Yeah, he asked y'all, is it okay, okay, to not be happy with your mate if the sex is not great? You damn right, it's okay. You let them know. Whenever I'm not satisfied, I let my partners know. I don't give a damn who you are, husband, boyfriend, whatever. Don't, uh-uh. You ain't gonna just come up in here and get yours and not get mine. If the sex went good, we're gonna have to start over. We're gonna start over. And y'all need them to start being up front with people and letting them know. If it ain't good, you need to let them know that because that's why people cheat, okay? They end up being sexually attracted to somewhere else because they're looking for that damn orgasm, okay? And you ain't got to look. You can just, if he made you come before or she made you come before, she can make you come again. Okay, Eric, I hope I answered your question. Talking about thick chick love sex. Skinny chicks do too, shit. Okay, bodacious, oh, she's Tony is drinking bodacious white wine. Aries, dream lover is drink, drinking uh, Jack Daniels. Come on now, y'all give me y'all sex question. Let me see. All right. Okay, Shanika says, okay, we need to talk. How? Okay, how can your mate know what to fix if they don't know? Okay, so my friend just asked me a question. <laughs> she said, I hope you ain't talking about your husband, bitch. I hope you ain't, because I'm never going to look at him the same. Okay? Nicole, I will never look at him the same, and then I'm going to come see y'all at the end of September, so please don't involve me in this. I don't like to give advice to my friends, but how can your mate know what to fix if they don't know? You have to tell them. Hell, I tell my husband. if he, I'll be like, move to the left. Put, move it to the right. Stay right there. Okay, I'm here. <laughs> you got to tell them. Okay, I hope I was able to answer your question to my friend, and I'm going to have to look at your husband at the end of the damn month. Okay? This is very awkward. All right, so Jill Jill. Yeah, she said you have to learn your partner. Jill Jill has some advice for you guys. Okay, so if you have some advice, write it in the box too. And I'll say it, okay? So Jill Jill says you have to learn your partner, point blank. What does it for one might not do it for everyone else? You have to be honest about what you need and ask them what they like. Exactly. Okay, so Lady Love says, why do some men always want anal sex? She's been celibate for eight months. First of all, y'all give her the two hands up, okay? Lady Love has been celibate for 18 months. But she also wants to know, why do some men always want anal sex? I, I don't see anything wrong with anal sex. I mean, I don't mind them wanting it as long as they don't prefer it. If they prefer it, then I'm a, you know, I know that it, it, did, it doesn't matter where it comes from if that's what they prefer over the vagina. But I don't see anything wrong with anal sex. As long as you're, you and your partner are clean and y'all have a long, you know, a pretty transparent relationship. Anal sex is, is amazing, okay? It is amazing, especially for the woman. And then men these days, you know, the reason they want anal sex is because they're so, like, infatuated with just the butt. They, it's just being able to just be one with the butt. You know what I'm saying? And so they just like to go back and forth. And so for a woman, you know, once they get in there, I'm going to be honest with you, white girl put me on. White girl put me on. She said, look, bitch. You gotta try it. She said, this was years ago. <laughs> she said, you gotta try it. And when I tried that shit, I was like, damn. Now it ain't something I do all the time, once a year on occasions, because you know, I'm not trying to have no loose stools or nothing. I don't want my shit just like loosely just coming out when it wants to. You know what I'm saying? I gotta keep the elasticity back there. But it does massage your G spot. And it's it'll literally just lay your ass flat on your face. You'll be like this, goddamn. God dang. So that's that's why. So I mean, men are just to answer Lady Love's question, 
men just like the the ass of the you know they just like the butt and they just want to be one with the butt so yeah okay so let me see Catherine said i'm a freak i am not a freak tonight <laughs> Okay, Shonda says some are gay and some just straight and like getting their prostate stimulated. Okay. Now, I was talking about, I, you know, y'all taking it to a whole nother level now. Okay. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with, with gay sex between men because that's how they get their pleasure. Okay. And so, what she said, should I, I fake sales or be like, oh, Nikki, hold that thought. Nikki R, I'm about to come for your ass. Yes, I am. No, ma'am, we don't do that shit here. No. Okay, so if a man likes ass, okay, and he prefers the ass, as long as he ain't lying to you about it, there's nothing wrong with a man preferring the ass, okay? As long as you know that he prefers the ass. If he's gay, that's how gay men stimulate. So, yes, it does massage your prostate. But if a man likes to fuck you in the ass, most cases they don't like to do it all the time. It's just something they like to do because they like – the shape of the ass. They like the way the ass feels and everything like that. And and women, okay, if you've done anal sex before, hit thumbs up because ain't nothing wrong with anal sex as long as you ain't doing it all the time or doing it with somebody that you don't know, okay? Because your ass will be the first to catch something back there if you don't take care of it. But ain't nothing wrong with anal sex. It's actually quite amazing. It is. Okay, so... <laughs> Let me see what the next question is. Nikki R. Where is Nikki R? Because I'm about to go in on her. Let me find this comment. She says, am I supposed to fake an orgasm? I think that's what Nikki said. I'm trying to find that damn shit because she pissed me off with that. Nikki, Nikki, you, you don't ever, ever <clears throat> in your life, Nikki R., okay? You don't ever fake an orgasm for nobody, nobody. That's how men are able to step up their game. If you let them know that their shit is not good, they will step up their fucking game. And if they don't step up their game, they will leave you alone. That's what they do, okay? No man is gonna stay around knowing that he doesn't please you. But if he thinks that he pleases you, of course he's gonna continue to do what he does and he's not gonna fix it or improve Okay, so you gotta be honest and tell them. Don't ever, don't know, bitch. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. I have never done that. No, no. I was not the type. If I didn't, if I don't like it, I later I let them know. I'll be the first bitch to tell my husband. Look, um, I don't know what's going on with you today, but bro, look, um, you gonna need to get back to your old self. Okay, you, you we gonna need to figure out what's going on. I was not the type of person to wait until, you know, shout out to all the people out there being celibate, wait till they're getting married, you know, to have sex. But I wanted to find out first if me and this person, okay, could be compatible in bed. It, does he listen? Okay? Nobody, I don't, I, I mean, there have been a few, okay, like in addition to my husband, that have been able to, you know, stimulate me first try. You know what I'm saying? And then there are some that it just takes a while because for a woman, you know, we mentally got to be there. Okay? So, no, you don't ever, 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 ever fake a damn orgasm for nobody. It doesn't help anybody in this situation at all. Okay? You're not doing him no justice, and you're definitely not doing you no justice. Okay? So you let that nigga know if he ain't making you come, and he'll work to get you there. I guarantee you. He sure will. Mm -hmm. Let me see what the next question is. Okay. All right. So just relax. Just, why do some men want threesomes when they claim the sex is good? Men. You know, I've had this conversation with my husband, not on the fact of threesomes. I just asked him, you know. Why do men, you know, because we talk a lot. I just ask them, like, you know, why do men like threesomes? And I've, I've asked a few of my male friends. They don't necessarily like threesomes. You don't find men just wanting threesomes all the time. It's a fantasy that they have. You know what I'm saying? It's not something that a man wants to do every night because that's a lot of work. Everybody knows that sex is a lot of work. And you, when you go into sex, you're supposed to calm down. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be able to relax. You're not supposed to be putting in work. And when you got to please two bitches, that's a lot of time, okay? Everybody know uh, any man will tell you that you gotta please her and you gotta please her. 
that's too much. That's too much. So it's only like a fantasy thing. And honestly, men should be doing that with women that, that, that don't mind doing that. There are some women that don't mind doing that shit. Okay. But if your man is coming to you asking you for a threesome and he knew when he got with you that you want a threesome type of chick, you need to rethink that damn relationship because he's going to make it happen. It, I mean, if you got one life to live and you asking the woman that you're with for a threesome, okay, and with all that's out there now, they're, they're making it seem as if threesomes are acceptable. And if you don't, he'll go get it somewhere else. Let his ass go. Let him go get it somewhere else. Let him go sow his raw motherfucking oats, okay? Let him go sow his raw oats, and then come, you know, when he's ready and got it out of his system, then he can come home after you get him tested, okay? So that's why. It's just, it's just you know, it's something they just want to do. It's a fantasy. Okay, Naya, I want to have sex, but I'm scared the person I'll be with will look at my body and be like, nah, and I have a fear of pain and blood. Okay, sounds like you got a lot of anxiety there, Naya. So Naya says, let me drink some water here. Naya says, I want to have sex, but I'm scared the person I'll be with will look at my body and be like, nah. Mm -hmm. Maya, from a person who has been both fat and skinny, fat and skinny, I have yet to have a man reject my body or reject my feet. As long as my feet ain't got no white crusty shit, they don't reject nothing, okay? Because when they go into the zone, all they see is vagina, and they know what that vagina can do for them. So now you're, nobody's going to turn your body down. There are plenty of big sisters out here working that shit, okay? And I, I, I highly recommend this for women who tend to think that they're overweight. I want you to pick somebody that you that you love and look up to that happens to be overweight. And I want you to follow their relationship. You know what I'm saying? I want you to follow them as a, as a woman, and I want you to kind of study their characteristics. This is for all the women out here who are just kind of insecure about their body. Find somebody that looks worse than you, but they don't mind. They're not shy. They're not insecure. And they don't mind showing their body in their worst state. And I guarantee you, if you study this person and their character and why it is that they do the things that they do, because I'm sure they do interviews and stuff, I always say pick your favorite celebrity and follow them, not mimic them, but just kind of study them because it is very inspiring at the end of the day. And if they have a body shape like yours, I mean, ask yourself why, if somebody can, if they can go off and do great things and attract great men and have great husbands, why can't I do that? Okay, because you got to remember, most people who are in prominent positions were once in a non-prominent position, okay? So, yeah, I've been fat, skinny, fat, skinny, fat, skinny. Ain't nobody ever turned down my damn vagina, period. As long as it's clean, you good. All right, cute top or dress. It is a top. It's a shirt. I got it from Rossi. I got it from Ross. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, how can I get my man to initiate sex more? What's, your man don't want to have sex? He must be working a lot or tired. Or if he smoke a lot of weed. If y'all men smoke a lot of weed or drink a lot, they ain't going to want to They ain't gonna wanna fuck all the time. Absolutely not. If they're, okay, I take that back too. Okay, if they smoke a lot of weed, if they drink a lot, and if they're stressed, okay, they're not going to want to have sex a lot. But the only, and if he doesn't initiate sex, I mean, everybody goes through their sexual phases, okay? So a man can, you know, be at his peak and then all of a sudden he just don't want to have sex. It's not that he doesn't want to have sex with you. It's just, you know, I got other things on my mind to be focused on. So sex is just not a priority right now. So I don't see anything wrong with a woman having to initiate sex because, I mean, we go through it here in the house. He'll initiate sex for a while. I won't. And then it'll be vice versa. And then there'll be times when we both like, oh, let's go. You know? Oh, excuse me. I almost lost something there. Okay. Let me see. That shot seems like it would hurt. Threesome. Mm. Is anal sex unhealthy for a woman, says Unchained Eagle Goddess of Love. I like that damn name. Okay, is anal sex can be unhealthy, yes, because first of all, I learned from, you know, white girl and gay man, look, you know, before you go there, you got to cleanse. You know what I'm saying? I am a big 
uh, advocate for water buckets. If you don't have a bidet, I don't know if some of you guys know what bidets are, but anal sex or even sex period can be unhealthy for a woman if they're not doing what they should do, okay? You need to be clean before you have sex and you need to clean and get up in there after you have sex. You don't have to use soap, you can just use water and just make sure you just use the water for a few minutes. I prefer the African style, okay, where they use buckets and they keep buckets beside the toilet and they just kinda, you know, every time they use the bathroom or have sex, you clean, cause it should always be clean. The same thing with having anal sex. You need to make sure that back door is just clean Ain't no shit coming out. And before he goes in, he's clean too. And then when you're done, you clean after, okay? So anything can be unhealthy if your ass ain't clean and washing, okay? Black cat swallow, okay? Uh, do I swallow? Of course I fucking swallow. That's my damn husband, goddamn. It's a little hard to swallow his shit though because his shit gets stuck like goddamn, you know, that glue. You know what I'm saying? You gotta pull, pull off. Like that's how his shit, that should be stuck to my damn esophagus and shit. Yeah. Somebody put cameras and stuff. Okay. It's, oh, okay. <laughs> I ain't gonna read that uh, comment there. Let me see. Somebody said, Kalisha said, Kalisha West says, anal can be great. Yes, it can. It is a, I'm telling you, you will hit that G spot. If you have a hard time, uh, if the partner that you're with has a hard time getting to your G spot, you should know where your G spot is. Then if you go anal with your partner clean, it, it'll automatically hit it. Okay. Carl, uh, Carly Swanson says, shit, I've been a lesbian for seven years with no toy play, but now I want the penis. However, I don't want to hurt her. What should I do? Uh, Carly, I... It depends on how gay your partner is, okay? So Carly Swanson says, sorry, that she's been a lesbian for seven years with no toy play, okay? That means like whoever she's with, they're just, they're not using strap-ons or anything like that. So it's just licking and licking and licking, okay? Oh, thank you. You guys are donating. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay, so... She says she's been a lesbian, but now she wants the penis, but she doesn't want to hurt her girlfriend. Well, I don't think you will hurt your girlfriend. It just depends on how gay your girlfriend is. If you're gay, if your girlfriend is just strictly gay, you know what I'm saying? And she's like, I ain't never had penis. I don't never want penis. I'm not going there. And if you, you fuck a dude that's violation, then you may be in a bit of a pickle. You may need to probably, you know, do one of them, uh, what's that dude named Donnell Jones? His name Donnell Jones? I forgot the name of that damn song. <laughs> when he basically told the girlfriend that, that he wanted to go out and play. He didn't know where, where I want to be. It's called Where I Want to Be. So you may need to play that song for your girlfriend and just, you know, go get your penis in, you know, if you like it. You know, hey, you may you may be able. Um, Wait a minute. Or you could just have your girlfriend just put on a strap on. I hope she ain't going to get mad. I hope she does know that's what lesbians do. I got plenty of lesbian friends, okay? They do, they use strap-ons. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? Carly, I hope I was able to answer your question. All right, so let me see. Uh, Star Sky Bisexual. Hmm. Uh, I mean, to, to each is on. I don't see anything wrong with bisexualness. I mean, we live in a, a, a very different world today. If you're bisexual, as long as whoever you're sleeping with knows that you're bisexual and they're okay with that, Black China, guys, thank you so much for the donations. I appreciate that. Black, I mean, there are a lot of people that don't mind, you know, bisexualness. So as long as you're being open with their sexuality, I don't see anything wrong with anybody being bisexual. That goes for men, that goes for women, because there are some women who don't mind their man being bisexual. And there are some, and there are definitely a lot of men that don't care about their woman being bisexual at all, because they, nine times out of 10 are gonna reap the benefits. Okay, let me see. What's my favorite position when having anal sex? From the back, <laughs> of course. I lay down with a pillow like there, just so it kind of comforts me. And I lay down on a pillow, so you know, so it's like propped up and he just, 
I'm just out of it. I was just like, damn. So that's my favorite position when I have anal sex. I hope ain't no kids on this, okay? I don't want to get no emails with no parents. All right, know your clit, it's your penis. Okay, more questions. Okay, uh, Lachelle Harris says, yes, white people are freaks. A guy introduced me to cream pie. Exactly, white people are, yeah, they, they're, they're a bit more advanced than we are, than us black folk, that's for sure, okay? Mm -hmm. So Sadie Banks says, oh my God, okay, I have three kids. My son, niece, and nephew, girl, I can't drink with you every day. You like my long distance friend. I get it. I wait till my daughter is like, you know, upstairs doing homework and stuff like that. So I get it. Okay. Now you, we don't ain't no sex hard tonight. Y'all really wanted to uh, go in on this. Okay. So Naya Dizauza says, I've done anal about three times. The guy was big. It was something I couldn't do every day, especially with them. No, you cannot do anal sex every day. I don't even think gay men do anal sex every day. You ever heard of those top guys and those bottom guys and stuff like that? Like a lot of men don't take it from behind. A lot of men don't. And so for women, you can't take that every day because even after you're done, okay, and I mean, if he's if they're anything like mine and he go for it, you gonna be you gonna have to sit on some pillows the next day. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be like, oh shit, you're gonna be like, oh god damn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so no, it's definitely something we do like once or twice a year. Okay. Let me see, Misty Pinker. My man is very good in bed and he goes a long time. I come multiple times and I get worn out. How can I please my man without making it a marathon? Because <laughs> I like it quick. Help me. I've been with him 10 years. So Misty says her man is very good in bed and he goes a long time. She says she comes multiple times, but she gets worn out. How can I please my man without making it a marathon? Because I like it quick. Help me. Been with him 10 years. Give his ass some Benadryl. <laughs> If you get tired of he hitting it like that, <laughs> give his ass some Benadryl. <laughs> so you, he'll go like one or two times and then maybe the second time his ass will just fall asleep on you. Give his ass a Benadryl. Crush that shit up. Put it in some food and some mashed potatoes and shit. Okay, let me see. What these Y'all got some good questions. Okay. Somebody's talking about asexual. Let me see. Black people are, CJ Sale says, black people are freaks too when they're not worried about what someone is going to say or stupid ass old school thought. That's true. That's true. I mean, because there's a lot of, you know, you know I, I guess um, perceptions that black women don't like to give head. They don't like certain positions. They don't like getting their hair messed up, all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, black women are probably, you, they're, I'm a freak. I know it. Okay. I fucking know it. And I'm not afraid to say it. Okay. That's why I got this short hair because you know, it ain't much that he can grab, but like, it takes me like five minutes to get myself together after we, you know, do what we do. Let me see. Mm, if your man stops going long, if your man stops going long, is something wrong with him? He lazy as fuck. Okay. If you, okay, so for women who have men that tend to come very fast, you, if you're, if, if you've been sleeping with him for quite a while, you should know, you should know when he's about to come. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a, there's a moment between me and my partner where I know and I can feel it and I'll be like, hold up, get up. You know what I'm saying? Roll over. You know what I'm saying? And then maybe I'll put him in a position where it's not so easy for him to come. You know what I'm saying? You should know what position makes him come fast and you should make, cause that's what happens too. Men have favorite positions and there are some positions where it could, it could take him like really quick. And there are some positions where he can just kind of lay back and relax. And so whenever you feel him, cause you should be able to feel him, you know, because there's a switch up in the brain where the body just goes into, into like mold. When he, you feel that switch, it's like changing gears, okay? When you're driving a stick shift. When he go from first to second gear, you need to be like, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Stop him, maybe give him some head or something to kind of slow him down. So, yeah, that's what you, Kale, is it Kaylee, Kalia Jackson? That's what you need to do, okay? 
All right, so Mary Jane on deck said, let me see what some of y'all questions here. Okay, Mary Jane on deck says, if a man smells K. Michelle's cooch, he won't come, he'll just, I don't know what the hell y'all talking about. I don't know how K. Michelle pussy got up in this damn chat. Okay, let me see um, if there, what if you can't get an orgasm? Valerie Goldman says, what if you can't get an orgasm? Valerie, you, you, one thing a woman should know is her body. If you can make yourself come, and I hope women are masturbating, I really do, and I hope you're masturbating in front of your man, because that teaches your man how to make you come, because he's gonna watch you. Even if you're masturbating in front of him and he says, stop, let me get in. No, you make his ass stare at you masturbating because he's going to study you. And he's going to turn him on, you know, while he's watching you. So, Valerie, there's no reason why you cannot get an orgasm, okay? You should make yourself come, okay? Learn how to make yourself come. That way, when you are with your man and you make him watch you masturbate, okay? He knows how to make you come too. All right. So let me see. Let me see. 15 years celibate. Help me out. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Faye Nightman says she's 15 years celibate. Help her out. Congratulations, girl. Congratulations. I mean, I'm happy for you in one moment. And I'm kind of sad because, girl, I know, I know how it is when you don't have that partner. I do. I know how it is when you ain't got that right one. All right. I don't know what to do to help you. I mean, you, you just got to, you know, you got to get out there and start, you know, dating, meeting people, developing friendships. Okay. Wow. To the person who's okay. Okay. Somebody is people asking questions in here and y'all answer them too. I feel, I thank y'all for that. Okay. Somebody says no squirting is not peeing. Squirting comes from the six gland. Pee comes from the urethra. Yes, that is true. Squirting is not peeing. Thank you, Kushan Murphy for that. Squirting is not peeing at all. Okay. It's very different. Please don't ask me when I squirted. Oh my gosh. Okay. Somebody says, how do you eat a woman out? I have never done it before. Do I lick swirl or lick her in her thighs? Y'all hear that? Ladies. Okay, so Bahamian, now it looks like he's from from the Bahamas, and his name is Demigod. Y'all see Demigod in here, Bahamian? He's asking, how do you eat a woman out? I have never done it before. Do I lick swirl or lick inner thighs? You see, do y'all understand what he just asked? He just asked, <clears throat> how does he please a woman? How do you eat her out? Most men... Like 80% of them don't know how to do it. They have to practice. And the way they learn is by you being honest with them. Lick here, lick there. And after about the fifth or sixth time, he'll get it. He'll know how to get you there. You got to instruct them. And then you got a lot of men that get turned on too by you telling them what to do and where to do it. Okay, because they're going to be like, wow, I'm able to please her. She in charge. They like women that's in charge in the bedroom. Okay, so that's how you do it, Bahamian demigod. Okay, your woman, who whoever that you're with, you let them know. I've never done this before. Can you teach me? And whoever that woman is, she better be ready to get some motherfucking instructions because I will. I'll be like, okay, no, listen, listen here. All right, <laughs> let let somebody tell me that shit. I'll be like, no, not a problem, not a problem. You don't even have to register for class. <laughs> There's no fee to get in this class. <laughs> Let me show you exactly what to do. <laughs> I'll be in there like a damn dominatrix. <laughs> okay, let's see what the next question is. Um, <clears throat> okay, now, what, Goldie Small, now she must be a little bit more advanced. Some women ain't got the patience, okay? But you young women, who know how to masturbate and make themselves come. Y'all better have all the patience in the world to teach these, these dudes how to make y'all come. Otherwise, yes, this is going to be miserable, okay? Okay, how do you squirt if I've never squirted? Well, I can only tell you how I squirt, okay? But <laughs> Boy, this is down X-rated, okay? So there's a machine <laughs> that I use that is that's been the only thing that's been able to make me do that okay because the power of it it's like 
it's a back massager. I don't know if y'all seen them and they long and they got that big round head. That thing is the only thing that can make me squirt. Okay. So that's the only way I've been able, and I'm being totally honest with y'all. I haven't seen a man yet. Now there are some women who just naturally squirt when they come, you know what I'm saying? But for me, I've only had it by that machine. Okay. So, and it was, it's pretty fucking great. I mean, my husband would play with that machine and <laughs> woo! he'd be like this. Yep. Yeah, yeah, bitch. Yeah. I'm like, oh, shit. Shit. Okay. So, Jessica, I hope I answered your question. Let me see. Y'all got some really good questions. Let me see. Tanya said, damn, she got to change it. Okay. She's changing the dynamics of this. Okay, so I was molested as a child. Sorry about that. I know how that can be. And then she says he used to, oh, hell no. Are you serious? Okay. Uh, Tanya, that's a separate, that, that, okay. I really don't want to read Tanya's question because I mean, even though we are real on this channel, it's just certain things that you know what i'm saying it's just it's a whole nother conversation for okay so oh wow okay tanya we will address that tanya email me okay and we'll talk about that separate okay because that's something that's like post-traumatic stress disorder when it comes to um sex most women um who have been sexually molested as young women that that's the reason why that some of them end up you know being lesbians and just kind of developing, you know, kind of a negative relationship, you know, with men or with penises, they have phobias and stuff like that because of something traumatic that they've gone through. Okay. So Tanya, that's another subject. Please email me on why with Tashke at gmail.com and I'll be able to, you and I can talk back and forth if you want to. Okay. About that. All right. You look 10 years younger last year. Who is this? Tasha, have you been with women before? Nope. Nope. Mm -mm, I've been married too damn long. Can't say that I would not. I mean, eh, I don't know. No, never had. I just like dick too much. I, I just, you know what I'm saying? It's like when you watch porn, you know what I'm saying? And I always, I have to see the, I have to see the penis. Like if there's no penis, it's like, it's boring. I can't, no. I have to have, because when you're done, if you're eating me out, you, if you can't penetrate me, I I have to have both, okay? You can't be one-sided with me. I feel like I'm getting the short end of the stick. Mm -mm. But shout out to all the lesbians out there. I ain't got nothing against y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. No. Um, the elements of me, a lot of women and men are inexperienced at sex. And they're inexperienced at sex. This comes from the elements of me. A lot of women and men are inexperienced at sex because they don't talk about it. It's like, they don't, they don't teach each other. You guys gotta teach and talk to each other. You know what I'm saying? Let me say, okay, let me see what this next question is. Hey Tasha, is there such thing as too big for a woman? I keep having that issue at 14 inches. Bitch, who are you fucking at 14 inches? What's his name? <laughs> nah, I wouldn't even wanna fucking go there. I'm good. Uh, yeah, if they're too big like that, uh, that can be hard. That, that, that can hurt. That, that shit does hurt. It does. That, that ain't even comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, let me see what these other questions are. Some guys like the poop dick dick. Okay, y'all going in, Mary Jane. Okay, so oddly odds. How do I ease my girl into playing with my anus? Oddly odds asked, how do I ease my girl into playing in my anus? Well, uh, oddly odds, she has to understand your sexuality. And I know there are a lot of men who like their anuses, their prostates massaged, okay? But your woman has to understand that you are into girls and into girls only, okay? If you establish that with her and get her to understand that, then I don't see her like not wanting to please you at all, okay? So you just gotta make sure that. I know some women are like, hold the fuck up. Like, why you only playing your ass? 
Do you want another nigga? And that's not the case. Some men just are very open, but they only want to be open with a woman. And so some women have to be more open-minded with these men who want to be open, okay? So, because I don't want them out there playing prostitutes, asking them to do this shit and stuff. So, Ida, that's what you got to do. You got to let her know. You got to get her. You, that's something you just got to kind of, you know, you can't just spring it on her. You got to work her up to that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let me see. Small dicks can hurt. No. Small dicks cannot hurt. Unless they, they pinching your ass. Unless they hitting the light wall. and No. So my queen D said, who's 14 inches for y'all? For real, y'all. I'm trying to figure that out too. Put his damn uh, Instagram DM, put his Instagram name on him so we can DM his ass. I want to know who this 14 inch is, okay? All right, so Ann M, a man's G spot is between his scrotum and his ass. Exactly. So thank you, Ann, for that. So Coddle, whatever your name was, Coddle, I can't remember your name. Just have your woman understand. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is how I'm able to come. I like this. You know what I'm saying? So a man's G spot, ladies, is between his scrotum and ass. That's why, like, when you got the, the penis, okay? His, say, for instance, this is the penis, and this is the asshole, and this is, a, this is, like, where the scrotum is. There's a line that connects, like, the scrotum to the ass. You play with that line with your tongue, you know what I'm saying? He there. He is there, Okay? Let me see, Tasha, I've been out with this guy 20 times and he talks so much about sex and nothing happened between us, but he loves to talk about sex, help, help, help. Well, obviously you liking him if you're going out on a day, if you've gone out with him 20 times, I mean, he probably trying to talk you into sex. So, um, I can, if you do decide to take that step with him, I can tell you the sex better be good. If all he talk about is sex and then we get there, it's less than par. We got a problem. We got a fucking problem. Absolutely. So yeah. Um that's how that's how I would handle that situation. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's see. Art 21 Howard. I love your videos. I'm a new subscriber. I've been catching up with all your old videos and I love them. Your personality. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the love, y'all. I really appreciate that. Let me see. How do y'all are coming with these anus? Shit. Okay, what do you use for the anus so it ain't painful? Glycerin, you can get it from uh, CVS, okay? Shivia says, hey, Tasha, what do you use for the anus so it isn't painful? Glycerin. And you keep adding that shit and adding that shit and you just let him ease it up, ease it up. You add some more, you never let that thing get dry. Never let it get dry, never let it get squeaky, okay? Because when he goes in, that's how it's gonna go in, okay? Glycerin and it's water-based, okay? And you can get it from CVS, it's like $8. Matter of fact, I need to go buy a new bottle anyway, shit, absolutely. We just used the last little bit. Mm -hmm. Right. Let me see, somebody said, bitch, you can't fuck nobody else if he's 14 minutes, okay? You put wine on the anus and it was. <laughs> I ain't put no damn wine on no anus, let me see. Okay, so Evo Love says, if he only talks about sex, he only wants sex. Yeah, true, okay. Let's see, no condom suck, stuck. Condoms getting stuck are the worst, okay. Let me see, my boyfriend is not circumcised. How can I try to convince him? This is from Amira Youngblood. She says, my boyfriend is not circumcised. How can I try to convince him of going to get it done without insulting him. Make the motherfucking appointment and let him know that you have a greater chance of catching like an infection without a shit getting caught in between his skin. So just make his ass the appointment and make him go. Shit. Because you know, when you ask an infection, okay, because he getting all them damn cobwebs and fucking, you know, shit in the creases and everything, that shit is nasty. Cut that shit off. Okay? And don't nobody want to see all that damn extra skinny the way. You're like, what the fuck is this? You just pull that shit. What the fuck is this? Remember the first time I saw that shit, I said, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. So, Shenanigans says, fuck being blackballed. Do you ever fear other consequences like somebody out to hurt you physically? Like maybe somebody with power or money out to hurt you for exposing them. 
I, I don't get that. I, I guess you're talking to me as far as when it comes to like celebrity content. No, I'm not doing anything different than, even though this is a little off topic, I'm gonna answer the question. Okay, do I fear getting blackballed or physically hurt? No, I don't. I, I, no. There are plenty of people in the world doing what I do and I can't help that this is what I'm great at and so I have to do it, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, okay, let me see. She said, oh, hell no, not cobwebs. You can't just, the whole man not circumcised. Okay, let me see. Uncircumcised dick is not nasty, just clean it. It's just too much stuff called in there, even during the process of when it's moving and stroking. Uh, no. Mm -mm. Somebody asked, how old am I? Are you talking about me? What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Is that the name? How old am I? I'm 35. I'm 35. Let me see. Uh, fisting. Ain't nobody sticking no fists in me. You got me? No. No, 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 no. Besides, I do too many Kegel exercises. Probably won't even fuck fit up in there. Let me see. Okay, loving this topic, Tasha. Yes, the freaks are coming out. Oh, yes, they all on this channel. The freaks are out tonight. <laughs> Let me see. I'm against male mutilation, boss lady 2000. Okay, then. So if you're against male mutilation, I'm not. I'm not against you being against circumcision. But you could happily take the woman that doesn't want her boyfriend's uh, extra skin. So I'm sure you guys will go go well together. Okay. Okay. So Shamika Calgar says. How do I be a freak if I'm very conservative? Girl, I'm the best ones because they'll never see your ass coming. Never see you coming. Never see you coming. Mm -mm. Never. Never. And there are websites, okay? I like to subscribe. Damn, my hair is fucking up. Oh, wow. I like to subscribe and I send my husband some, uh, some of these videos too. He'd just be like, what the fuck? I like to subscribe to those kind of like uh mantra like videos like those massage videos like where you know they like candles and they have different oils and they're able to massage you and i see some of the guys that just kind of massaging the girl's vagina area and they'll just make her come without like touching her vagina they'll just kind of massage around it same thing for men you know what i'm saying the women that do that to men so i mean i like to watch a lot of those videos you know what i'm saying and bring out my, I have a, a name, Florida, in the bedroom, because I'm from Florida. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, just subscribe. You, you can learn how to be a freak, okay, anywhere, all right? If you were someone who is uncircumcised, you have to make sure he cleans his penis thoroughly before you go down him. Absolutely. That's why it's just better for him to be circumcised, okay? Um... You can go to the sex shop and get water-based lubrication that numbs, way less pain. You can. You can go there. Um, that's a good one. Corey Simon says, for you guys that are afraid of, like, I mean, are asking what type of, um, you know, I guess, lubricant to get to have anal sex, there are some numbing lubricants. So when he goes in, but I wouldn't want to be numb because... When he gets in, it's going to feel incredible. But if you're numb, it's it's only going to be for his benefit. So that's if you're just only doing it to please your partner, which I don't recommend. Okay? I, we, it's a two-way street. We both getting pleased in this motherfucker today. Okay. So let me see. Should I let women know that I've had a vasectomy or just keep it to myself? No. You got to let women know that you fixed. Okay, especially if you sit, no, you gotta let them know. Yeah, and besides, I, I don't think a lot of women would be upset anyway, okay? I think a lot of men do that and don't let the woman know because it's kind of like, if she comes up pregnant, he's gonna be trying to figure out who you cheating with. So it's kind of like something they keep to themselves. So Mr. Wright said, should I let the woman know that I've had a vasectomy or just keep it to myself like I have been? I like it that way. Um, if you're serious with somebody, they need to know that. You know what I'm saying? They do. I don't think that's, you know, uh, if you're just dating somebody, no, it's really none of their business. But if y'all are together, I think your partner needs to know that shit. Absolutely. Okay, let me see what the next question is. I hope y'all drinking. Uh, somebody asked me what I like to get my pussy lips cut off. Okay, now women do get circumcised for that person who's being real sarcastic LV, there are women that get circumcised and they don't cut the pussy lips off. They cut the clitoris off, okay? 
So women do get circumcised. Okay, somebody said if you, if you fixed holla at me, team. Okay, uh, I used to be conservative until one of my exes brung out the freak in me by making me feel relaxed and have sex on the beach in the middle of the night while people was watching. Girl, he was tired of the shyness. He just broke you in, didn't he? I don't believe in people watching me have sex. Now nah, that's no. That should have been on the internet. And then when I had kids and stuff, they're gonna see that shit. So don't do that shit no more, okay? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Next thing you know, he'll have you have you up in the ATL orgy scene or any orgy scene that they have. Okay. So I'm glad that he was able to bring the freak out of you, but there's levels to this freak shit. Okay. Levels to it. All right. So let's see. Would I ever put a Molly? Who? What the? Okay. No. Do I clench my vagina during sex? Yeah, absolutely. You grip that shit. Absolutely. I do it all the time. Let me see. Um, Tasha, should I keep my legs closed? What's up, y'all? Um, That's a personal decision, honey. Like, I can't tell you to, to not keep your legs closed. I mean, I'll just tell you to be safe. You know, definitely, you know, uh, take you know, take your body serious. We only get, we only got one body. Let's try to take the best care of it that we can. Okay. Let's see. Y'all talking about putting drugs in the asshole. I don't promote using drugs, mollies in your butthole. Okay. Y'all on some other shit. All right. So let me see. I'm fixed. I have soldiers stored away in the sperm bank for when, if they want more children. Okay, Mr. Wright, I'm just saying, like, I just think your woman should know that if you're dating, if you're dating, I don't think it's really any of their business unless you're going to get serious with this woman and they want to have kids, okay? That's the only way, Mr. Wright, you should tell them. You know, that information should come out, okay? Sex on the beach sounds like a yeast infection. It sounds uncomfortable. I don't want to be on that sand, that sand in my hair and shit. This is when black women start to get, com start to get complicated when it comes to sex and shit. Mm -hmm. Laying on a beach, I got sand here, sand there, sand all over my damn face, sand down there. He's stroking, sand getting in. That's too much. No, I don't like it. Mm -mm. Wildest place I ever had sex. Oh, shit. I'm trying to think. Uh, ah, what would you consider wild? Movie theater. There was people in there, bitch. There was people. There was people in there. Wildest place, movie theater. Okay, let me see. What gave you the motivation to start a channel? Oh, okay. That's you know what I I need to make. I need to save that for another live because I know there are a lot of people out there that kind of want to know. I get emails every day, and I want to let y'all know that I read them all. I just don't have time to respond in most cases. Uh, but for those of y'all that want to know what motivated me to start a channel, I, I can put that in another video or I can do a live for you guys and just kind of answer your questions, how to market, how to go about promoting your channel. You know, there's some things that I did in order to make my channel rank. I've never paid for any promotion or anything like that, but I, I am kind of, because I have a background in marketing, especially, uh, online marketing and advertising. I was able to kind of put my channel at the top and kind of get it exposed. So yeah. I'll, I'll do a separate video on that. But tonight we talking about sex. So I need y'all to give me your sex questions before I go and I have sex with my husband. So y'all need to go ahead and come with these questions, okay? Let me see. Sexton at the drive-in movie still popping. It wasn't no drive-in. It was the theater. It was the Regal Cinemas, cinemas okay? <laughs> hey, Tasha, how do you get guys to get over the fear of approaching a woman? Um... Is this a guy, Drew? How do you get, how do guys get over? Oh, how do guys? So J Truth 92 said, hey, Tasha, how do guys get over the fear of approaching a woman? I think if you are approaching a woman as a friend, then you shouldn't be nervous approaching her. Now, I know sometimes you guys can be kind of struck at the beauty and just, you know, but at the same time, if you approach a woman as a friend, I don't think anybody will, um, have a problem with you becoming a friend and then hopefully you're taking it to another level so yeah please tell me if you role play and if okay so ann m says tasha please tell me if you role play and your dude wants to play the woman is that some suspicious shit? <laughs> oh shit 
Uh, yeah. Uh, why would he want to play the woman? I mean, he gonna be on some damn Kayla Bruce Jenner shit here. If he playing the woman, I mean, cause you remember, uh, the Kardashian said that he was playing the woman for years and they just never thought anything of it. So yeah, I would, I would deem that as kind of suspect. I would be concerned about that. I would, if he's on some young thug type shit, I don't want it. Mm -mm. Okay, let me see. I hate pregnant sex. It sucks. Mr. Wright said he hate pregnant sex. He sucks. <laughs> oh, wow. So I hope you ain't gonna step out on your woman when she decides to get pregnant, when she gets pregnant. Okay, you the first man I heard say that. Well, maybe, I think he said a lot, you know, because it, a lot of men tend to do cheat when their women are pregnant. You know, that's nine months, okay? Some of them like pregnant vagina, some of them don't. So, um, hence, that's probably why they end up, you know, in somebody else's bed. Pregnant makes you wild horny. It sure does. Mary Jane said, pregnant, being pregnant, it sure does. I remember that shit. It was crazy. It was crazy. Okay. Somebody says shenanigans. I would love to hear about your motivation too. I have a channel and kind of at a standstill. So I'll be tuned in for that video. Okay, no problem. I will definitely do that video. Maybe next Thursday we can talk about that on the live. Okay. Let me see. Best dick sucking position without choking. Jay Jackson says best dick suction. Uh, okay, it, it's kind of a tongue twister. I'm like best dick suction, suction. Okay, so Jay Jackson says best dick sucking position without choking. For me, because I, I like to be in like, I don't want to be in no pain. I don't want my neck pain. I don't want to get tired. I don't want my back hurting and stuff. You know, I'm 35, you know? I like for my man to stand up and I sit down on the bed and I it's easy for me like that. I ain't choking, I ain't gagging, he can't shove that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm in control of the dick. When it's going, when it's going in and out, I'm in control of it. So that's how I like him. I like my man standing, I'm sitting, easy access, things like that. Okay. Okay, that's what it means. He wants to be okay. Oh no, I was bumped out. Okay, let me see. Sex is too much of a chore for it to be enjoyed by me. Mm, sounds like you kind of impatient or lazy. Mm -hmm. Sex should always be like, a, sex is, when you learn how to do it, you have to learn how to have sex, okay? Yeah, that shit just doesn't come. You have to learn how to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I learned how to do it on top. I learned how to do it from the back. I learned how to let teach him how to do it to me. I, I taught him how to how to do it to me. You got to teach that. You got to be patient because the benefits are amazing. Okay, it's like learning about money. When you learn about money, the benefit to financial freedom is amazing. That's what sex is. Be patient with your vagina. Okay, let me see. Am I the only woman that doesn't like oral sex given to me? However, I love to give it. I think if you don't like it, it's because they're not doing it right. Okay, what's the best thing to do before sex? I don't know. It's just, it just depends, you know? Like, what you like to do. You know, my husband and I like to talk before we do it. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. I just don't like it. My man gained weight. Big belly. <laughs> Okay, now that's something my husband and I and my friends and I talk about us when it comes to this. Okay, so Carla Jean says, my man gained weight. He has a big belly. I'm not attracted to men. Here's my thing. No offense to anybody that's overweight out there, but if I met you, I, I'm the same way a man is. If I met you looking one way, that's what I was attracted to. Now, if you start to let yourself go, I'm thinking if I if I move into these into these golden years with you, you're gonna leave here sooner than you know you're supposed to be here. And then when you start gaining all that weight, your sex drive starts to go down. And then top it off, you start to sweat. I hate men that sweat in bed because I got to change the sheets more. I like to change my sheets like once every four days or so. You know what I'm saying? But if you're sweating and you're too big and you're just not taking care of yourself, like. You wouldn't like it if your woman wasn't taking care of herself. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying, this, these are my preferences. So I can relate to Carla Jean when she says that her man has a weight, big belly, and most, and, and I know what kind of belly he has. It's called wheat belly. He eating too much bread and rice and gluten and shit, and sugar, 
and that shit is going right to his stomach. And so she's not attracted to him. Just so just like men can get unattracted to a woman, a woman can do that too. And I don't blame you, girl, especially if he got to pick, if he got to pick up his damn stomach and 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 put no. Oh, what the hell? No, what they do that at? Oh gosh. Who's oh, let me see. <laughs> Okay, so Bahamian demigods and Tasha sweat during sex is natural. Not if you date the skinny dude. See, my husband's skinny. I mean, just, <laughs> you got to pick him. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let me see. You got to keep the AC on, keep the fan on. I just don't like, I don't like somebody that drenches in sweat. There are some dudes that just sweat. Hell, they sweat while they're standing up talking to you and ain't doing nothing. Okay, she said, baby, <laughs> pick up the stomach. Let me see. All right, I don't mind sweat. The bitches, okay, the bitches hella ugly. She, bitch, okay. Oh, somebody just came for me. They said, this bitch is hella ugly. I bet she never gets fucked. You talking about me? Oh, Lord, Jesus. Okay. We got some trolls on this account watching me talking shit. Okay, who's had sex with a big belly woman and had to lift her stomach up to get to the good stuff? <laughs> okay, so Kushan Murphy says, I just lost 32 pounds and I'm trying to find a sexy ass dress to grab my husband's attention. Any suggestions? I don't think you need to grab no sexy dress to get your husband's attention. I just think you need to get in there, get oiled up, get some perfume on, set that mood right, bend over, and you got his attention, okay? Most men want you out of the dress, they don't want you in the dress, okay? Talking about where the LOL, Susie said, where the skinny dudes at? <laughs> okay, so Mr. Wright, oh, he talking to somebody. I noticed that I'm able to make a woman orgasm more often and squirt for their first times. That's why I'm out. Okay, y'all onto some shit in here. I guess y'all, I guess it's matchmaker in this damn chat. Y'all talking to each other about your positions, and these dudes coming back to me. Oh, I know how to make you come. I know how to make you squirt. Okay. All right. <laughs> so Mary Jane on deck says, if I gotta pick that belly up to get the dick in, then that's what I'm gonna do. You do that, girl. You go. <laughs> Let me see. Somebody said plastic fitted sheets and oil. Yeah, it's kind of nasty. It's kind of nasty. Well, it looks like I answered most of y'all questions. If y'all have a few more, I shoot me two more because I got to go have some sex with my husband. As a matter of fact, he just sent me a text message. He upstairs. He like, get your ass off that live. <laughs> okay, baby. Okay. <laughs> To hit me with two more questions and I'll tell you the wine that I'm drinking. Okay. Hey, Tasha, do I know anybody that can handle a guy over 14 inches or anybody in there? I don't. I don't. Okay. I, I, I don't think anybody, I, I don't know anybody that would want to handle 14 inches. Okay. Somebody said, how many Kegels do I do a day? I just do them. Like, and you know what, because I'm like a, a crossfitter, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, when you do squats or, um, sit-ups, those are Kegels too, because you're contracting, you know, that area down there. So you don't necessarily have to do Kegels. You can do squats, you can do sit-ups, you can do, and because I do a lot of squats, crossfitting. Yeah. So, I, I don't put a number on them. Oh, I ain't worried about these damn haters. They be the main ones watching, giving me views and shit. Please do. Tell me who is using their cell phone to film stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see two more questions, and I'm going to go upstairs and spend some time with my husband. Oh, somebody says I'm hella cute. Okay. I'm shallow. Okay. Right, let me see. I don't like seeing hairy pussy. I don't think anybody likes seeing hairy pussy. I mean, I think for a lot of women coming up, especially when they were poor. <laughs> um, thank you to the sh thank you ball gazer for the two dollars. Gonna fuck after the stream? Yes, I am. <laughs> I sure am. Y'all don't make me hot up in here thinking about my husband and all these positions and shit. 
absolutely. Uh, I don't forget what the hell I was going to say. Okay, girl, I do squats every day trying to get my butt bigger. Girl, you better be, okay, look, for those of y'all trying to do squats to get a big ass, y'all better leave that damn fetish alone, okay? Y'all out here trying to compete with bitches that bought their asses. It's not going to work, okay? Just go ahead and accentuate your body. You know what I'm saying? Just do, just work out to keep yourself healthy, okay? And when you work out and you do it right, it's going to tone the body. Every man has a different preference. Some men don't like asses. You know what I'm saying? Every man I've dated don't like asses because I ain't got that much. You know what I'm saying? Y'all better stop trying to compete with these Instagram hoes and shit. Hey, Tosh, yes, you go to your husband, okay? Wolf pussy makes the room smell. Yes, okay, that, that was my thought. Okay, so for women that don't like to take the hair, it holds smell, okay? <clears throat> it really holds smell. So I believe in like shave, not shaving, but uh, trimmers, you know, like the trimmers they use on your hair. Those work good as well as waxing, okay? The first wax will hurt, but after that, it won't hurt no more. Let me see if it's that big issue with her. Maybe she'd explain <laughs> to my IG hoes. Yeah, I'm about to. How much does a fake ass cost, Drama Queen? I don't know. I don't have one. Okay, I try to. I work with the one I got. Okay, I sure am about to get dig down. I am. Okay, now y'all stop soliciting sex in this chat. I see a lot of y'all telling each other, "Oh, I suck you pussy. I suck you." Y'all stop. Hey, this is not what this is for. Okay. Yep, so Drama Queen said I use hair tr hair trimmers cut close. When you go to the barber shop and they're able to get that shit ball back there, it, it does the same thing to the vagina. There's nothing wrong with hair trimmers. Just make sure your man knows that you using them trimmers down there. And if he with you, he don't mind. He'll put them shits on his beard, okay? The sexiest shit ever is when I see my woman bent over cleaning something like baseboards. I have to get on it then. You go ahead and get that, Mr. Right. You go ahead. <laughs> John McQueen says 5K for a new ass. <laughs> oh, thank you, Gamay Williams. Oh, thank you. You guys are so sweet. Okay. It is a lot of prostitution going on this channel. <laughs> yes, it is. I am about to go get that African deep, bitch. Deep. Absolutely. Some spots, some, okay, Sagittarius, what is wrong with sucking toes? Okay, I don't want to suck no feet. I don't. I mean, your feet be everywhere. Uh, you know what's funny is I just talked to Jacob before this live. I was like, Jacob, I got to call you back. Somebody said, do pu Puppy F Guppy said, do a collab with Jacob Kahainor. I wish I can watch both of you live. I literally am going to call him after this live because I told him, I was like, hey, I got to call you back because I'm about to get on live. So, yes, we're going to work out a collab here very soon, okay? He lived like 10 minutes from me. Good night. Okay, now before I go, or now I got to go, okay? <laughs> now before I go, I just finished up this damn bottle. Look, it's empty. Thank you, Malcolm. Rim jobs, give, receive. I don't know what that means. Oh, I ain't linking no ass. Look. <laughs> I just have certain standards. I'm not licking no ass. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, now before I go, we finished up the Lucky Duck, okay? The Malbec Argentina. All right. This is a Malbec, like I told you in my previous videos. Oh, I love you guys, too. Love you guys. I love y'all so much. Y'all have no idea how thankful I am that we're here. I'm actually about to get my silver plaque for 100,000 subscribers, bitch. And when I do, I'm bringing two bottles of champagne. Thank you, Rosie, for the money. I'm, I'm giving two bottles of champagne and we're gonna fucking party, okay? Y'all need to let me know how many y'all in Atlanta because I will literally put together a function and we can motherfucking party. DJ, I'm on stage. We doing a damn thing, okay? So y'all let me know. I'll put that shit together. All right. So thank you so much. The wine we were drinking tonight was the Malbec. I was drinking, okay, in a Malbec. You pretty much taste blueberries and flavors of chocolate. A Malbec complements anything. And like I said in my previous videos, for people who don't drink red wine, this is the perfect red wine to drink because it's not too strong, okay? That's typically why a lot of people don't like red wines because they feel that it's too strong or it's not sweet. This is a wine that's kind of even balanced. And it's got a nice 
fruit taste to it, but it's not over. It's not sweet, but it's not dry and it's not tannicky and it's not sour. Okay, so it's a great wine. You can get it for three ninety six. I got this one from Walmart. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be introducing the Apothic Crush because you know I'm an Apothic girl all day. Mm -hmm. So y'all go ahead and run out and get that because I'll be introducing Happy Hour with that. Okay, and. And thank you all so much for watching, okay? Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Unwind with Tasha K, okay? Hit the bell. If you follow me there, I'll let you know when I'm over here. I'll always let you know when videos come up over there. That way nobody is missing nothing. Hit the bell. I love you guys too. Thank you. And you guys will be able... <laughs> and you guys will be able to see the videos when it's going live in most cases like i did tonight i'll let you know an hour ahead of time so everybody will have some time to get on okay all right and if you didn't like the video haters you can still subscribe anyway just so you can cuss my ass out not that i'm gonna really give a damn anyway now i gotta go bye about to go get that d bitch absolutely <laughs>